Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is part 11 of my Seasons tutorial series. This time we're going to talk about horses. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to Seasons part 11. Um, in this tutorial we're going to give you a brief overview of what you need to know when it comes to taking care of horses in Farming Simulator 19 in Seasons. So, um, first off, I want to mention kind of the purpose of horses in Seasons. It's a little bit different. In base game, if you raise horses, you raise them until they're fully trained and then you sell them for a profit. Now, in Seasons, that's not how this works. Um, you are just here to care for the horses and earn daily income depending on the quality of their care. And there's other things that matter as far as that goes, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, they are free to quote unquote buy them so you can purchase them for free. Um, they don't cost anything. They're zero dollars because they're someone else's horses in essence and you're just getting paid to take care of them for that person. Um, there are different breeds and they require different types, amounts of care, uh, different amounts of riding and such like that. Now we're not going to go into all the details on everything. We're just going to give you guys a brief overview. So um, let's go up to this first one here, this first horse pen. So first off, just as before, these are base game horse pens. These are found in placeables under horse pens or under animal pens. We have the horse paddock. Small, large, small one can hold eight horses, large ones hold 16. I just have four of these placed out. They're eight breeds. We're gonna put two in each one. And then this is the water pump, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but I just want you to note that it's in the back here of the store um, under this, under animal pen. So just know where that's at, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So horse pen here, the base game one, you have a water trough here where you can put water in. You have a straw trigger point here where you can put straw in, feed trigger point, and over here is your animal buying point. And you also have a gate here if you want to open and close it. I believe there's a gate somewhere else as well. Um, yeah, right over here on the side. So there you go. A couple gates if you want to ride your horses or you can just jump the fence. Uh, but if we hit R to open up the animal dialogue, again, they're all zero dollars. So I'm going to put, if I wanted to put this guy and this guy in here, it's going to charge me 600 bucks because it's $300 per horse to transport unless you want to transport yourself. Now, if we go in the store, you can buy a trailer to transport them yourself. This guy right here will do two horses at a time, which you can transport from the animal dealer. And none of these do horses, so just this one for you in base game. Now, as far as breeds go, you have the Andalusian, uh, the Paint, Halflinger, uh, Quarter Horse, Thoroughbred, Black Arabian, Tennessee Walking Horse, and the Morgan. So those are your, your breeds, and they all have some different descriptions down here. I'll let you guys read those on your own, but they're just different purposes and what they're used for and such like that. So um, yeah, there you go. But what do horses require for care? So actually, let's go ahead and put in and this one will move one and illusion and one paint over. The next stable over from here, I have one of each of these. Then the next one over from there, I have one of each of these. Then the next one, I have one of each of these. So if we confirm that, it's gonna build $600 to transport them. Um, so there we go. Now, if we go into the seasons menu, if I hit Alt S to open the seasons menu under animals at the top here, horse paddock, I have four of them in place. I have provided some various food requirements to some of them. Um, the one we're at right now, let's see, who do we have in here? Neptune and Temper. So if we go back in here, Neptune and Temper are these two right here. We're going to complete all of their requirements. So uh, note that down here at the bottom, it's going to give you a annual food requirement for an estimated food. Now, again, this can vary depending on health, fitness, um, and everything like that. Um, so as they have various differences in here, as these change a little bit, um, they're what they require is gonna change a little bit too. So this is just an estimate for exactly what you have right now. Um, now, up here at the top, we have water. They require they require water, they also require straw, uh, they require oats, and they require hay. You don't have to clean them at all. There's no cleanup process involved. Um, you just have to provide what they need. So um, these two here, these two, yeah, these two here, you can see the water is just right about there. Um, that is at a 15% capacity. And notice that just different breeds require different amounts of stuff down here at the bottom. But it's at a different capacity because I have a water pump placed there. The water pump will keep it if you place it next to the animal pen or next to the water trough. It will keep the water level at 15%. Um, and it will bill you for the water as it's needed. So just be aware of that. But it's an option so you don't have to worry about them running out of water. But if we go back down here, straw. So first off, actually, let's go talk about water again. So to put water in. They don't want to use a pump, use a water trailer. The water trailer is found in the store under animals right here. Um, so I can put water in for them. Now, again, you're only going to be able to put water, food, straw, all that good stuff into the pens um, to last the horses for two days. So this actually, um, if I go right there, it says no more capacity for water. Sometimes it'll pop up the message that it says no more for two days. Now, the next requirement is straw right here. You can use a bale shredder, which is found in the store, or you can use a trailer with loose straw, which I'm going to do that. I had to unload some of this in here. And again, no more capacity for straw. 
it's good to go and now if we go over to feed it's going to require oats and hay so i can put hay in here and then if i go ahead and fill this up with oats i can also put oats in here and again there you go the maximum capacity of the feeding trough suffices to uh to feed the animals for two days so you'll get that message that pops up there um and just remember as far as animal health goes um, it's easier for them to lose health than gain health. So if they aren't cared for, um, they will quickly lose health. If they're cared for well, they will slowly gain health over time. Now, if you look in here, the health is going to be noted at the at the bottom side here. Now, normally animals don't start this high in health, but they do because these are someone else's animals. So you have to take care of them. Now, we're going to do a bit of a just kind of a brief test to show you a little bit of the differences um, in some of the stuff here. So these are the ones that we have right in front of us, Temper and Neptune. Um, they're cared for really well. Fitness, 66%, all that. We're not going to ride any of them. Um, but we're going to test this out. And then this one, we put water, straw, and no oats and hay. This one, we have oats, hay, no straw, and water. And this one, we're not going to put anything. Uh, so animals can die in seasons. If you leave them in the animal trailer overnight or for a long period of time, they also can be injured in there. So it's not like a cheaty way to get around feeding them or taking care of them. Um, but yeah, and again, all the what food and water they require depends on their age, weight, health, all that good stuff. So trying to look at my list here, make sure I'm not missing anything. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu here. Um, I'm going to speed this up just a little bit quack, quicker. Um, so let's go ahead and not quacker quicker. <laughs> let's fast forward some time here. We're going to go to uh, just the next day so you guys can see some of the results here. And we'll see if we get paid out at uh, midnight, which we should. I believe it's at midnight for the horses. We'll see here in a second, though. You fast forward in seasons every so often. You want to slow down just to make sure. Yep, synchronizing. There we go. Live restable. You see various levels of pay there. It'll pay us based on what we did. So if we keep going wrong here, we'll get just about eight in the morning. All right, it's gonna synchronize. Slow back down to one. Let's take a look at how the horses are doing. So the ones we didn't do anything with, their health is now down to 82%. 61, 100%, daily riding zero, value zero. The value is gonna stay at zero because they're not worth anything to us. Uh, health, 100% for Gulliver, even though he didn't have straw. Fitness, 60, cleanliness, 100. Fitness, 58, cleanliness, 100, health, 100. So as long as they're getting food, they are supposed to eat both of it. So you're probably going to get paid more if you feed them all, which was probably the library stable we got the most from was this one. But as you can see, um, they don't necessarily have to have everything, but you should provide them with everything. But there you go. Um, and again, daily riding is also going to add to what you're going to get paid out. So there you have it. That is the horses for season. So this is just, again, a quick guide. I will be doing some more test videos and other things in the future to kind of uh, give more details or more information about how to care for horses. But there you go. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.